Hello, um, this is Karen Holland. I'm writing a letter to MGM. The idea is I want to license um, the movie Brainstorm um, as the father of the idea of virtual reality because they produced a movie uh, that expresses the goals of virtual reality before virtual reality was even a coined term. Now, it isn't the oldest uh, example of virtual reality technology or the, or the idea, um, which goes back to the 60s, um, whenever they were first doing research on doing virtual reality, or the, even the stereo, uh, stereogram format which goes back to the 1900s. Um, virtual reality um, is a game changer. And it is, my belief is that virtual reality will destroy the entire 2D imagery industry. And this is why is because it makes every person into a content producer, a potential to be a their own studio. Um, this is why whenever you've got mocap on individual limbs, you're talking six degrees of freedom per lens, uh, per, per limb, and uh, wrist, you can do inverse kinematics to determine where your elbow joint rotations are and how your shoulders are positioned. Um, you could also determine the, the orientation of the torso and it permits you to become a upper body puppeteer at the very least. At the very most, you become a full fledged studio. You can do all the parts of a studio in 3d content, um, because of cameras like this, uh, it turns, uh, people who are, um, who are stunt people, stunt people has then become the actors. The actors become uh, immaterial. They are of no use to the VR format unless they're on stage performing. That would be the only example where an actor would be useful. Um, an actor can no longer use body doubles. They can no longer use stuntmen because it is easy to discern in a VR format uh, the difference between a actor and their stunt double. Um, and uh, it is impossible for cinematographers to hide behind the cameras. Um, it's easy to discern stitched um, stereo imagery. Uh, so 360 VR uh, video is even worse than VR 180, which is the way I'm presenting this video here. Um, so I was writing a message to MGM, hopefully to get licensing for their movie so that I could show to people in alt space VR. I have a feeling they'll say no, but um, I gave them uh, tips that they should start investing in Facebook now because Facebook is pushing the Oculus Go. And I just bought two Oculus Go's on top of the Oculus Go I currently own. Um, let me show you what an Oculus Go looks like. It is, this is the Oculus Go. The headset has three degrees of freedom. The battery lasts one hour. That will only increase. Um, it has a low power mode. This is your mouse. Um, this is how you control how you select things on the screen um, in, in 3D. And because the screen is par parabolic in nature, and this, this only maps rotational information, 3DOF stands for three degrees of freedom, that X, uh, your x axis goes like this your y goes like that and your z goes like that 
three dimensions are what define our universe. Um, rotation in X goes like this. Rotation in Y goes like that. And rotation in Z goes like this. Having that information, you can specify um, a point anywhere on a screen, as well as you're able to place um, objects in 3D um, and rotate them uh, and place them. Um, people are already starting to create their own 3D worlds within a program called Altspace VR, um, which is owned by Microsoft. Microsoft also owns the 3D application, the killer 3D application of this age called Minecraft, that every child knows and loves um, out the wazoo. Um, so Microsoft is also pushing the technology, the innovation of um, stereo M, um, VR augmented uh, reality, and that is taking existing reality and overlaying 3D elements on top of it. And that will be the future of technology. Um, facial recognition is going to be the future of payment systems. Uh, so we'll stop using credit cards. We'll start using facial recognition. Anybody that thinks that they can escape facial recognition has got another thing coming. Um, it, Facebook's already collecting facial information. Um, it is going to be out there and used, utilized by companies to, to permit um, I, the identification of individuals. And that is important because it eliminates uh, the potential for, um, for fraud. Uh, so identity thieves, your days are numbered because of um, facial recognition. And artificial intelligence is the only way that you'll ever be able to man manipulate a stereo medium. Um, and I don't even know if they have enough in place to do that. Because the brain can discern, um, can discern manipulation of a 3D format. In 2D, it's harder to discern because 2D is easy to manipulate. 3D is much, 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 much harder to manipulate in 3D. Uh, is is much harder to manipulate, period. Okay? You can't do it with 2D. Um, I know this for a fact because I worked with the stereo medium for 10 years. I created 10,000 photographs in stereo. I know what's possible, and I know what's not possible. So this is my message to uh, MGM, and I will make another video after this that will uh, cover that. And uh, this video that we got here is in VR. Um, <laughs> you're probably wondering how I got this uh, terrible, um, um, terrible uh, back of mine. This comes from using computers since I was 13. Um, I've been a tech evangelist forever, and um, well, since I was 13, and um, I've pushed. I, I was the guy who, who originally pushed Ton Rosendahl into the into the development of Blender, full time. Um, Ton might deny it, but he can't deny the fact that I inspired him from the beginning that Blender would be the industry killer. It would be the atomic bomb to the 3D industry. And it is well-placed and is, is working. It's been working for 25 years. It has the attributes of being forward and backward compatible, format compatible. Um, it has the attributes of being file system independent. Uh, that And the way it saves files out and loads them up People can um, collaborate over the internet um, with complete WYSIWYG. Um, what you see is what you get. Um, in, um, presentation. So I could create a 3D presentation in Blender on my end, complete with comp post compositing. 
and audio production um, and shading and texturing, every avenue of what 3D can do. Put it in a blend file, distribute it to somebody over the internet in less than a minute. They will be able to load it up on their end and see exactly the thing I'm seeing so that you can actually um, give your clients your entire deliverable so they can reproduce it for VR, for 3D film, um, even for 2D. But I believe that the VR format is going to kill 2D. I, as a VR user, hate 360 videos that are not stereo um, and shun them. And, and I believe everybody who uses this format, uh, who views this format, will shun the, that content. It will be the, 2D will be the new black and white film. People will see the difference. They will value it less. And it has the potential to destroy everything in Hollywood. So, that said,